السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my friends how are you كيف حالكم الحمد لله I'm also doing good الحمد لله myself today we have a new story and this new story mentions something that comes after Ramadan is over did you guys know that we finished more than half of Ramadan and after Ramadan comes Eid yes remember the months of Islam that we sang so after Ramadan comes the month of Shawwal and the first day of Shawwal is Eid al-Fitr. Muslims have only two Eids, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. Eid al-Fitr is the one that comes right after Ramadan. And it's a time of happiness for all Muslims. For me, for example, I like to wear my favorite outfit. Some people like to buy new clothes, but you don't have to or if you have a favorite outfit that you like to wear. And um, my mom would bake cookies sometimes, or sometimes she would buy them. It depends on if she if she's tired or doesn't want to, we just buy them. And then we go outside to parks, and sometimes we go to our um, gra well to our grandma and our uncles and aunties, and we just visit them and we give each other gifts. Uh, this year it's going to be a little different because we're all trying to stay home and protect ourselves and protect other people from getting sick. So uh, we can still call our families and friends and we can still say happy Eid to them and we can still mail them gifts, maybe. And we can wear our best clothes and go out to the park. Maybe you can take your bike, your scooter, or you can just walk like me. My favorite thing to do is to walk. Um, and you can um, enjoy the weather and decorate your house. Um, for me, I like balloons a lot. So I'm going to definitely be uh, blowing a lot of balloons, but I hope that they don't pop because what I don't like about balloons is that eventually is that eventually they do pop when you're sleeping like bang, and you're so scared. Okay, now we're going to start today by uh, practicing our iftar dua because we're still in Ramadan, you guys, and we want to practice that so we don't forget it, okay? So get your imaginary glass of water, imaginary date, and let's begin. Let me get my advan ready. Okay, I think it's ready. Adhan al Maghrib, okay? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Bismillah. Dhahab al Dhamma, wa ptallat al Uruq, wa thabat al Ad, inshaAllah. Let me get your date, Bismillah. And remember that the seed goes in the trash. Good job, you guys. You did an amazing job. And now we're going to sing um, the new song that we sang last time. Um, I liked it because it taught us a little bit of a few words that we, some of you guys know it. But this time I want you to sing with me, okay? Try your best. It's, it's not as hard. I know you can do it. Three, two, one. When you're about to start something, what do you say? Bismillah. When you're about to start something, what do you say? Bismillah. When you're about to start something, when you're about to start something, when you're about to start something, what do you say? Bismillah. When you plan on doing something, what do you say? Inshallah. When you plan on doing something, what do you say? Inshallah. When you plan on doing something, when you plan on doing something, when you plan on doing something, what do you say? Inshallah. When you see something beautiful, what do you say? Subhanallah. When you see something beautiful, what do you say? Subhanallah. When you see something beautiful, when you see something beautiful, when you see something beautiful, what do you say? Subhanallah. When you meet other people, what do you say? Assalamu alaikum. When you meet other people, what do you say? Assalamu alaikum. When you meet other people, when you meet other people, when you meet other people, what do you say? Assalamu alaikum. And even better, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Good job, you guys. Thank you so much for singing with me this song. And now it's time for you to find a comfortable place to sit in a comfortable position. You can cross your legs, you can uncross your legs, whatever you like. And then we are going to take two deep breaths. So you're going to raise your arms up and take a deep breath and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. 
And you're gonna let all of the air out of your body. Let's try this one more time. Raise your arms up, take a deep breath and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, and let it all out. I feel relaxed and I think that I'm ready for today's story. Today's book is about believing that Allah knows what's best for us and he always gives us the things that we need most. Because sometimes we wish to have things that we think will make us happier. Like, I know a lot of you guys only want to eat candy for the rest of your lives. Do you think that's good? No! What do you think will happen if you only eat candy all the time? You'll have cavities and your body will be weak and you'll be so sick all the time. So that's why Allah, alhamdulillah, he gave us so many fruits, trees that give so many beautiful fruits and vegetables. Fruits can be sweet too. I, I like to have fruits actually instead of candy, but it's okay to have candy every once in a while. So this book is about believing that whatever Allah gives you, it's for your best. So are you upset that you, you, you can't find your toy? It's okay. You can play with your other toys and you're sure to find another toy that you really enjoy playing with. Are you upset because you lost your drawing? That's fine. You can make another one and enjoy drawing it. So you see, Allah knows what's best for us and he always gives us the things that we need. Today's book is called Amira's Totally Chocolate World by Jay Samia. So there's only one name on the, on the book. Who's Jay Samia? Both the author and the illustrator. Good job. Bismillah. Oh, so much chocolate. I like it. Amira's totally chocolate world. One day, while Amira was sitting in her garden and eating a chocolate candy bar, she had a, an idea. A great idea. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the whole world were made of chocolate? Amira thought of all the fun things that she would do in a totally chocolate world. So this is her thought and this is the real world. You know what she would do? She, she, she would pick chocolate flowers from her garden and eat them. She would run through chocolate grass and occasionally reach down to taste it. And she would open her mouth to the sky when it rained so she can eat droplets of chocolate. Best of all, she would sail on waves of dark, creamy chocolate, drinking glasses of chocolate all day. What a wonderful world it would be. A totally chocolate world. The more and more Amira thought about a totally chocolate world, the happier she became. So every night before she went to sleep, she said the dua and she closed her eyes and asked Allah for a totally chocolate world. Every morning when she woke up, however, the flowers were still flowers and the grass still felt and looked like grass and the rain still tasted like rain and the ocean near her home was still blue. One night, Amira felt excited when going to bed because the next day was a special day. It was Eid al-Fitr. This was the first Ramadan that Amira had fasted for a part of the day every day. Her mother had promised to bake her a special chocolate cake with thick chocolate icing just for her. Amira woke up the next morning and looked out of her window to admire the garden. Usually, her garden had a big pink roses, yellow daisies, purple petunias, and orange lilies. The grass was usually soft and green and jasmine filled the air with its beautiful aroma. But when she looked out of her window this day, an amazing surprise was waiting for her. Everything was chocolate. The flowers, the grass, the trees, the ocean, everything. Amina thought, today is a very special day! Amina quickly got dressed and ran outside to see her totally chocolate world. She picked a flower from her garden and bit it. Oh, chocolate tasted so good. She reached down and grabbed several blades of grass and tasted them and they were just as sweet. Amira felt little drops fall on her head, so she opened her mouth and looked up to the sky. It was raining chocolate. She opened her mouth and it was filled with delicious chocolate falling from above. When the chocolate rain stopped, a rainbow of chocolate appeared. There was dark chocolate, white chocolate, milk chocolate, and several shades of chocolate in between. Amira then remembered that what she had wanted most of all, waves of dark, creamy chocolate. 
she ran through the chocolate fields and on the chocolate sand and and she saw dark chocolate waves crashing on the shore, making the most delicious sound. Amita scooped up a handful of the chocolate ocean and sipped it. It was just as wonderful as she had imagined. She jumped into her sailboat and sailed on chocolate waves, drinking cups and cups of chocolate all day long. She then remembered that it was Aid and that her family would miss her if she didn't go back home soon. So she ran back to, she sailed quickly back to the shore and ran as quickly as she could back home. But as she came close to the front door, she noticed her garden. The smell of jasmine no longer filled the air. The brown chocolate grass did not feel soft under her feet and she missed the beautiful colors of the sky and the flowers and the birds. Amira thought, wouldn't it be, it wouldn't be too bad if roses were like pink and daisies were yellows and petunias were purple and lilies were orange. Maybe it wouldn't be too bad if the grass was soft and green and if the ocean wasn't blue, I still like it. Amira had many other thoughts as well. If roses were pink and daisies were yellow and petunias were purple and lilies were orange, rain would have to be rain. Everybody knows that flowers need water to grow. And while a chocolate ocean is wonderful, a blue ocean is still special. Oh, what a wonderful world. A world of different colors would be, Amira thought. Oh, this time she closed her eyes and made a dua. But this time she asked Allah to return everything the way it was. Amira's alarm clock rang so loudly that she jumped out of bed. Ding, 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 ding. She ran to her window. She saw big pink roses, bright yellow daisies, purple petunias, and orange lilies. The grass looked soft and green, and the scent of jasmine filled her room with this beautiful aroma. Alhamdulillah, she said. She realized that she had only been dreaming. She thought, today is a very, very special day. What a beautiful world I live in. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for all the beautiful and colorful things that you give us. Amira ran downstairs to find her mother. She wanted to tell her mother about her dreams and the lessons that she learned from it. On the kitchen table, she found a large chocolate cake with thick chocolate icing, just the way she likes it. The end. Did you guys like the story? Who was the main character? It was Amira. And and uh, who else was in the story? Did you see any other characters in the story? Yep, her mother. Her mother was also there. And where did the story happen? In Amira's house. And in Amira's garden. And she was a little bit, she was in the ocean sailing, remember? When she was drinking cups of chocolate. Ooh, that'd be good. All right, I think we can just make hot chocolate and drink it. What do you think? I think that would be a good idea. All right, you guys, um, stay safe. Wash your hands for 20 seconds or more. Cover your coughs and sneezes. And I will see you in the next story time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.